What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get the Hardware Channel on the Nintendo Wii. So the requirements for this are an SD card, a USB, and a Mario Kart Wii disc. Now obviously I am not going to be showing you this on my original Wii until near the end because it's quicker for me to do. So the first things first that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this website and you're going to want to uh, so like you want to get your MAC address so the way to do that is you got to go you got to go to this uh, web like so you got to go to your Wii settings the Wii options down there and you go down here and you go to your Wii settings and then you'll see your version up here, which is another thing that's key. So mine is 4.3U. Um, then you want to go back to the website. So if yours is E, you make sure E is checked. If yours is U, make sure U is checked. If yours is J, make sure J is checked. If yours is K, make sure K is checked. So mine is U, so I want to click U. Now, to get the MAC address, all you got to do, you gotta, you gotta go to the internet, which is here. You wanna click on that. You gotta go to the console information, and your MAC address should be right there. Now, do not give this MAC address to anyone, just for safety hazards. I have no idea why, but you know, just don't give it to anyone. So, you wanna type this MAC address onto where it says MAC address. So you wanna copy what it has. You, you don't do this on an emulator by the way guys. Um and yeah. Alright so we type that in and then the last one. About that guys but uh now I've just um done some things uh, it kind of cut out when I, because I had a key binder. But once you've typed your MAC address in, what all you want to do is you want to click I'm not a robot. And then if it asks you to do some verifications, just do the verifications. Then cut either red or blue wire. I'm going to cut the blue wire. Now it doesn't matter which one that you cut, it will do the exact same thing. It will go straight to this download, so they're both download links basically, exactly the same. So then you want to save it to your desktop, and uh, all you want to do from there is you want to go to your USB, um, I'm just, I did this before and it kind of cut out, so I'm just going to do it again. Alright, so once you've done that, you just want to open up Letterbomb and drag all these files or extract them, like just extract them to the USB, drag them on. Once once that's done, then put it put the take out the USB or SD card and put it straight into your Wii. Alright, so once you've done that, you should you should um you wanna open up the messages. Uh to show you how to do that in case you didn't know. Go to messages and then Find the letter bomb. It will either be on the next page, the page before, or this page, which is the which is the today page. So then it will be the, the the letter will not look like an ordinary letter. I'll show you what that looks like quick. So it just looks like this. It has a little bomb. Uh, yeah, it's red. That's what it should look like, and it will pop up on your Wii somewhere. And then you want to click on that, and then. Do some installations on your Wii, which I'll show you in a sec. So just let me have a break, and I will show you after that. What is going on? I am back. Now you want to go to your me Wii message board, which is over there, and then you want to click on. You want to you want to basically go across to the left or right. That doesn't really matter. It will be on the today. And you want to click on the letter bomb thing, then it will do this. Um, now this will help help a lot. Yeah. 
So don't pay for this if you've heard of it. When you want to get a phone green we don't pay for it. You can just get it for free. Whatever. You can like you can just go on that website, do all that stuff. Um so this is gonna be that, so yep. So it'll be will be going on soon, I guess. So this will work. Then you wanna click the one to continue. Then you wanna click um continue. Install the homebrew channel. Then you wanna click yes continue. Now it will be installing. You wanna click continue. Then you wanna click uh exit, I guess. Yes. And now you wanna turn your system off. I am currently back, so you wanna click so you wanna go to this website. All the links for all these websites will be in the description. And you wanna click on download right up here. And then you wanna click on download CTGPR version 1.03. Once you've clicked on that, it should go to Mega or something, and then click download through your browser. For some reason this doesn't always work for me on this computer, since it's old and it's only Windows 7. So you want to click download through your browser, or if you have Mega, Mega, I recommend downloading with this. You don't have to get Mega, just download it through your browser, it will download. And then once you've downloaded it, it will come up like this, it will be in a WinZip file. You want to open it. You want to you wanna make sure you go to the... You want to make sure you drag all of this onto your USB or SD card. So we're done with the um... We're done with this homebrew stuff. Done with the MAC address files and stuff. You want to... Get all this. Just drag and drop. Doesn't matter about the README. You can if you want. But I recommend the README being in it with it as well. So once you've dragged and dropped all those all those files, then you'll be good to go, and you'll be able to do the CTGP revolution. You'll be able to go to the next step, and I will show you how that works on from there. Right, I am back. Uh, and yep. Alright, so we have we have to do this. We've already drag and drop this on. Now we can go straight onto the Wii and do all the setup. So yep, I'll be back again, and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to start up the homebrew channel. So you want to click start, and then you, then it will open up. So now you want to click on CTGPR, which is C Custom Tracks Grand Prix Revolution. Then you want to click Load. Then once you've done that, uh, wait for it to load, which it will be loading in a sec. All right, now it will pop up. You want to select English and or whatever language you are. Um, so for me, I'm going to pick English, of course. Because if I wasn't English, then why would I be doing this video in English? Uh, so then you want to click A to continue. You don't really need to read all this. Um, you want to click, just keep click, clicking A. Um, so once that's done, just go through all the terms and conditions. You accept the terms and conditions. Obviously, press yes. Now, um, you want to click yes. For all of them. Now I've recorded this already, and I've done a voiceover. So, yeah. So, ready? Would you like to install CTGP Revolution right now? Click yes, anyways. Um, just click it because you're gonna want to install it in the end. Uh, all right. So you want to make sure you want to make sure after you've done all those steps that have been required and 
and you've gotten the uh, uh, CTGP Revolution installed. You want to make sure you click yes for everything, whatever. Um, update the system, and then you can download the CTGP Revolution channel to your Wii menu if you want. It, it, it'll probably be there anyway. You want to just go to updates, you want to update it, make sure it's updated 100%. Then once it's updated, then yeah, then it's updated and you can play. Because if you don't update your system, you won't be able to play on Nintendo Wii and Five. Well, it's not authorized on Nintendo, but it's Nintendo. Well, it's on the Nintendo console itself. It's the Wii and Five, and you'll be able to play with that. Um. So yeah. Uh, so once you've gotten the updates done, then yeah. So another thing, if your system randomly shuts down after it's done like an update, I recommend restarting it, like turning it on. Uh, uh, if it automatically turns back on, then it automatically turns back on and just leave it, let it update and stuff. But once you turn it back on, click on CTGP Revolution again, update it again a few more times. Depends on how many updates you need to do. And then after you've done that, you should be able to uh, play CTGP Revolution online with real people. And then that's that's all um, for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. For more videos like this, or even better, and yeah, so bye.